Okay, okay, okay. I know this video might be a bit late for some of you guys because I walked into Dollar Store the other day and it wasn't back to school season anymore. It was Halloween. So I feel like a lot of you have probably finished your back to school shopping, even though it's only like mid August. You probably already went and watched all the aesthetic study channel videos about you want to buy what your notebooks you can get in the stationery and all that fun jazz. And then that's not actually going to help you in university. Two things that I need you guys to understand is that one, none of this material girl energy will actually help your first year in university. All the chaos and confusion you need to navigate will not be done with a 10 pack of Muji pens. They will be done with the skills that I'm about to rank in this video. And that's point number two. All the skills that I am going to present in this video, even the lowest ranking ones, they far outweigh any material item you think will prepare you for university. All right, so let's jump into the tier list and you'll see what I'm really talking about. First up is exercise. This is a repeat of your New Year's resolutions. Like you tell yourself that once I go to university, I'm going to go walk and I'm going to go join clubs and sport events and I'm going to maybe take on the gym. And then you find out that you'd rather stay at home and watch Netflix. So exercise is extremely important. We all know this. Like this is common knowledge already. Exercise is mwah, when you actually go do it. Okay. So many benefits. Not a lot of people do it though. So I'm going to put it as an A tier skill, if not S tier yet, you'll see what I put into S tier. Game? What's a game? <laughs> oh, <laughs> a game. Next up is scheduling. This is what I'm known for in class. Like, this is what my first year schedule looks like. You can see, there's no free time. I literally time blocked myself to a point where I had no excuse to procrastinate. And honestly, that worked out really well for me because I was able to get everything done in a timely manner. I was able to get it done without too much stress near the deadline. And I was able to get my sleep, which is so, so important. So finding a schedule that works for you, it doesn't have to look like this. It could look like this or like this. It could be setting yourself a goal of studying for some, some hours during this o'clock to this o'clock. Whatever works for you, make sure you have a schedule. Now, I'm going to put this as a C tier skill, though, because as a student, your schedule is prone to a lot of changes and maybe a lot of things will come up and you can't follow a set, set schedule. And that's really going to throw off your rhythm of things. So scheduling is important, but is not something to rely on. Always try to have the discipline to get yourself to get your done. Next up, this thing. Oh my god, I suck at this. I suck at active participation. I think in my first year, like all of 1A and 1B, I've only raised my hand up five times. Five times. And maybe like three of them weren't even like to answer any questions. It was just one of those, oh, raise your hands if you feel this, 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 that type of thing. So my participation in class has been terrible. The return of value you get from your learning when you actively participate in class and like raise your hand and ask questions and participate in discussions during class, that's phenomenal. That's god tier. You can't beat that. And for me, it, the experience was, was always, I'd raise my hand because I thought I knew something. But then as soon as I put my hand up in the air, all of a sudden I have a feeling of doom and dread and like second guessing myself. And that prevents me from raising my hand again. So... Something that's something for me to work on. This is something a lot of people should work on. This is something that will give you really good value out of your learning. I can't stress that enough. Okay, next up we got self care. And now I don't say self care as what people think we do as university students, like, you know, go to sleep at every single chance we get. I'm talking self care as in you come home after a long day of school and you don't immediately collapse in bed and you go take that shower, and you go wash your face, and you go get a nice nightly routine in, and then you go to bed. Taking care of yourself, like having good hygiene, is so important, and it makes you 
so much more approachable to other people too. Like other people will enjoy being around you. I don't think anyone enjoys being around people who haven't showered in two weeks and have like five pizza stains on the hoodie that they've been wearing for like the past month. And I'm starting to sound like this man here, but it is very correct. I'm gonna put that into the C tier, even though it's super important, but I feel like a lot of you already have a routine set for yourself and it's not a skill that you really need to put too much effort into focusing on. So that's a C tier skill. Next up, this could fit into self-care, but I'm gonna put it as a topic of its own and that's ergonomics. Ergonomics is so important. Making sure you are comfortable and in a good posture while you're studying, that makes life so much easier for you and you'll be able to better focus on what you're doing. So if you're spending money on any material things, you should focus a portion of it onto ergonomics. I have a vertical mouse. People think it's weird, but it's the best purchase out of my entire setup, hands down. This is so comfortable to use. I can't go back to using a normal mouse. I grimace at the thought of going back to a normal mouse and not having that ergonomic wrist setup. And the same goes for my laptop stand. Like everything that can help me make my setup more comfortable and make my working and studying experience more comfortable, that's a huge win. I'm gonna put it into the C tier. It's not really a skill, it's more of like a little investment on yourself and just the habit of cueing yourself to, you know, stand up front, have a good posture, sit properly, have the monitor to like eye level. All this jazz, this stuff is really invaluable. So make sure you go work on that. Next up is prioritization. Having one single priority, not two, three, four, okay? One single priority, that makes your life so much easier because you only have one thing to focus on and you're not overwhelmed. You wake up, you recognize this is what you need to do today, you get it done. Once you get it done, you get the drive to go accomplish more things. And that's how you push yourself to complete all the things on your little task list without feeling overwhelmed. So prioritization, I'm gonna put that as a B tier skill. Another B tier skill is focusing. And this also ties into prioritization a little bit, but just being able to focus on one thing, getting rid of any distractions. This doesn't even need to be your phone, okay? Maybe you have things on your setup that distract you. Maybe you have things around you that distract you, but just put yourself in a zone where you can focus on one thing and one thing only, get it done, and that's the most efficient thing you'll be able to do. A lot of people, I'm gonna call out a lot of people right now, you know who you are. You're working and you have Netflix in the background or have YouTube on another tab. You would save yourself so much energy and time if you closed that tab and you worked on your one thing that would probably take you half the time to do if you were focused on it instead of being distracted and then sitting back with your extra time and watching your YouTube or Netflix show. Okay, I hope that makes sense. I kind of went into like a little rant there, but yeah, this next skill this is S tier, this is God level. If you don't take things personally, you become the God in the class, okay? That's what I'm telling you right now. Taking things personally messes with you up here. You need to learn to take a step back and realize why you're getting so worked up over maybe this feedback you heard from a professor or this mark that you received on your essay because everything is subjective. If you disagree with your opinion, you disagree but don't take it personally, okay? Just take it as a, hmm, okay, I never thought, you know, someone could see it from that perspective. Don't take things personally. That's, that's all I'm saying, okay? This is main message. Don't take things personally. S tier, God level. Okay, next, being prepared. Being prepared saves you so much time. I think everyone should know that by now. Like, studying ahead or just preparing materials for like a project ahead of time or just even doing things and learning things from extracurriculars that you think might be helpful in your course, even though it's not on the syllabus, that stuff, that stuff saves you so much time. That stuff gives you so many new insights and that helps you absorb material better. So I'm gonna put that as an A tier skill, studying ahead, preparing ahead, just having that foresight really does help you a lot. And it doesn't even have to be like studying ahead. Being prepared can be a mental thing, like just being prepared to tackle a new project to start a new essay, to do something new, do whatever your professor throws at you next, okay? Just being prepared and taking it as a fun challenge. Don't ever be scared 
Okay, I think that's the first thing that sets people back a lot is being scared of a new project or not having the confidence to do it well. So you really need to be prepared for that up here and in practice. Now you could be as prepared as you want, but a lot of people fall into a sinkhole and that sinkhole is perfectionism. You do not need to be perfect. You do not need to be perfect. Anti-perfectionism is a god tier. I keep saying god tier, but it is really god tier, like S tier level skill. If you're able to do it, you're set. Anti-perfectionism is the act of saving your valuable, valuable time by taking steps back during your work and asking yourself, hey, is this worth my time? Okay, moving on. The next thing is asking for help. And this is asking for help from classmates, okay? You have access to your professors. You should be asking your professor for help. But your classmates, you have access to them 24-7. I bet during your entire year, someone's always going to be up. Someone's going to be up late. Maybe they're not even studying. Maybe they're playing video games. But there's someone you can always contact and ask for feedback or ask for help or anything that you're curious about or need help with. Ask your classmates. Your classmates are great resources. If they don't know either, now you got two curious people and you two curious people can go ask more people. And it's just a really great learning opportunity, okay? Don't be scared to ask people. Like, if there's someone in your class whose work you really admire, go talk to them. It's not a competition. You don't need to be better than them. You know how you can be as good as them? You go talk to them. You go learn from them. You go to them and be like, hey, do you want to explain to me what your project is about? And then you see how they think, you learn, and it just helps you grow so much as a student. And it affects your work in such a positive way too. So don't be afraid to ask your classmates for help. I don't think any of them bite. If they do bite, then that's an actual problem. But don't be scared of your classmates. Go ask them for help. This next thing, you're probably wondering like, why? Why do you even include this, Alex? Doesn't everyone take notes already? Why is this even a skill? I'm including this because I know for a fact, I know for a fact, a lot of you just sit in lecture hall and look at the presentation slides and write it down mindlessly. Pay attention to what you write, okay? You don't have to jot down every single thing on the slides. If you just wanted all that information, take your phone, take a picture, done, okay? If you're jotting things down mindlessly, that's not beneficial to your learning at all. So pay attention to what you're writing down and go back and review your notes too. Your notes shouldn't be a one and done thing. You should be writing your notes and using that as a booklet to go back and flip through and refresh your memory. So learn how to take proper notes, okay? C tier. This next thing, you also might be wondering, why did you include this, Alex? Doesn't everyone go to sleep? Isn't sleeping like the fundamental human need? Okay, yes, like especially for us because university students are so sleep deprived, but also nobody does this right. You need a good sleep routine, okay? And the way you do that is monitor your natural sleeping, especially now during summer break where you are able to just sleep and wake up whenever you want. Give yourself a week, okay? Go to bed at a reasonable time, reasonable time, and track when you naturally wake up. Now you can just do this manually or if you have a fitness tracker, Apple Watch, whatever, a lot of them have the ability to track your sleep. And you can see when you're in deep sleep and when you're in light sleep. And you can use that data to help you create a sleep schedule routine for yourself. So go to bed and then choose a time where you're in light sleep to wake up. Again, a lot of these fitness trackers have the ability to wake you up when you're in light sleep around a scheduled time. So really take advantage of that. Make sure you're getting proper sleep and make sure you are waking up and going to sleep at the proper times. That is a really important skill. So I'm going to put that as an A tier. This next skill, cooking, might not apply to everyone, especially if you live in dorms and you're surviving off of dorm food. This might not apply to you, but if you have the chance to go grocery shopping, please do. Learning how to cook, grocery shop, meal plan, and budget for food that's life skill right there. And most of the time, you'll be able to eat much healthier than you do at a school cafeteria, and you also save a lot of money. So I'll go into more detail about this in an upcoming video where I'm only showing you 
my whole meal prep for a week. I'm going to be taking you guys shopping with me. We're going to be budgeting. We're going to be meal planning. We're going to be cooking. We're going to be doing great things. And it's a really enjoyable experience. If you do it right, it's not even going to take up a lot of time. So make sure you learn how to cook, eat healthy, fuel your body. Don't eat ice cream at midnight after not eating for like three days, okay? I know lots of you do that. Don't do that. And I forgot to mention, part of this includes drinking water. I don't know why it's so hard for people to drink the recommended amount of water a day when schools literally have water fountains like everywhere, okay? Bring a water bottle with you or bring a filter bottle with you. And drink your water. You're gonna feel so refreshed. So, so refreshed. It's gonna make your life so much easier. Your skin will be clear. Everything. Just drink your water. Looking at the last two, we have extracurriculars. Extracurriculars are fantastic. Extracurriculars are a way for you to go meet new people and to explore your interests, especially in first year, where exploring your interests is the main focus. First year is the time for you to realize and decide whether the program you're in is right for you, whether what you're doing makes you happy. And if not, and you find your interests somewhere else via maybe an extracurricular, you can have the time to transfer over to a different program, not waste your time, and have a happier university experience overall. So extracurriculars, super fun, super engaging, great way to make, meet new people. And did I just say mate? Oh my god, I am so sorry. Anyways, that's a C-tier skill. The next one, last one, A-tier skill, and that's taking a break. Please take breaks for yourself. And this is coming from me. I'm a hustler. My friends know I normally don't take breaks. I'm always go, 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 get, 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 work on this, this, that. But now I've also realized taking breaks is so beneficial to my health, everyone's health. And there's no pressure, okay? Don't put pressure on yourself that you need to be hustling all the time. Take breaks, slow it down. We have a lot of time to figure things out. This is the sexy, sexy tier list of skills that you guys should prepare for before university, but you can also work on these during university and even after university. These ultimately are life skills. And take these seriously. I know this is a really fun video, but take these seriously. If you get these down, you're set for life. Anyways, thank you guys for staying until the end of this video. The YouTube algorithm loves it and I really appreciate it too. So if you wanna contact me, my links are in the description. I know a lot of you, and I'm so sorry, a lot of you have been trying to reach me through my Instagram, but the way that they, my messages are hidden, I have missed so many messages. I'm so sorry, but uh, the best way to contact me now that I find is go to my website link, go fill out the email form, and I'll respond to you in like less than 24 hours. So that's all for this video. See you guys in the next one.